Peace and blessings, people. Peace and blessings. Assalamu alaikum. Shalom. Yep, yep. What's good with the peeps? Uh, this is your boy Musa Azakar, man. Bring you that heat like I always do. Just please feel free to like, share, subscribe. Uh, hit that notification bell. Uh, you will be notified every time I drop videos. You know, unless YouTube decides they want to spread them all now. You know, distribute me out there, uh, YouTube. Don't feel ashamed. <laughs> Oh, man. You know, when I think about this NBA season that transpired with the COVID, the stop, and the start, going into the bubble, you know, and all these killings of black people around this globe, You know, NBA players is getting some momentum to me. When they're about to shut this motherfucker down, they had the option to shut that motherfucker down, man. And they would have been like, that's real shit. But no, they decided to go on and play, and we see how it ended out. Props to the Los Angeles Lakers uh, winning their championship. Some say it was a hoax. Some say it was some bullshit, but you know, slick was. But uh, anyway, <laughs> what's more bullshit on top of that, man, is before all that. Mm, 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 mm. I'm going to go ahead and read this copy disclaimer. Uh, copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright of uh, 1976. Allowances made for fair use for purposes such as criticism comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by the copyright statute that may not otherwise be infringing. <sighs> that's what's up, that's what's up, that what, uh, that what, uh, that what, that what, uh, check this shit out. While the shit was going on, you know, you had the Clippers and the Lakers. They could have just shut the whole motherfucking down and niggas been like, man, them brothers, I might not like the way how they play now, but I respect them brothers. They sat on down, but no. LeBron James said Lakers were prepared to leave the NBA bubble after Buck strike. But what happened? What happened? LeBron James and former President Barack Obama sat down for a conversation during Friday's episode of The Shop on HBO to discuss the NBA bubble and Tuesday election. Following the police shooting of Jacob Blake in, in Wisconsin, the players went to wildcat strike and lived in Milwaukee for some protest. James and Obama held a phone call, which the 44th president provided guidance. First of all, why call him? You, man, you know what Obama about. Obama is not about progression of black people. You know this. But he had to call and... Oh, LeBron, I think you should go and start the season. It's a great American thing to do, you know. Keep the buck rolling and keep the rich rich. And keep the masses of your people, keep them blind, you know. Come on, man. That's that bullshit, man. And that's why y'all got that shit started. Fuck around talking to Barack Obama, man. What type of niggas is y'all, man? What type of niggas is y'all, man? I don't want to hear about this motherfucker. Nowhere near LeBron James. Don't put him in the same sentence as Muhammad Ali. Because he's not great on that aspect either. Nowhere near, man. Take him, man. Boy. And he revealed that him and the Los Angeles Lakers teammates were ready to end the season without crowning their champion. Why the hell did they do it? Why the hell did they do it? I'm going to play some of this audio, man. We, we, we need to hear, man. Listen to these niggas, man. You know, when Milwaukee did.
did what they did, and rightfully so, we understood that there was no way that none of us can go on the floor. We we, we stand as a brotherhood. We are a brotherhood in our league, and we still with the Milwaukee Bucks and what they wanted to do. But there was a time where we were ready to leave too. Um, the Lakers, myself included, we were ready to leave, and um, we were trying to figure out if we leave or if we stay. What is our plan? What is our call for action? And I'm lucky enough to have a. Look like y'all plan was just to have Black Lives Matter spray painted on the court and got the shit on jerseys. Yet other motherfuckers, brothers, and caught that motherfucking heat. Y'all still playing, and it's just like, God damn, really? I mean, y'all are some, you know, specimens like a motherfucker. Goddess built motherfuckers, Adonis out there slam dunking on motherfuckers. Strength out the ass, man. But y'all don't have no strength. When well, it's time to stand up on something. Man, I ain't got no strength for that, man. It's the money that good. I mean, y'all should have y'all own shit shit by now. You feel me? But God damn, is the money that good? Oh, man. It's disappointing. Disappointing, man. I can't hear boy. A friend you know, the 44th president that allowed me and allowed us, excuse me, and allowed us to get on the phone with them and get guidance. You know, when there's things going on, when it's chaos, where, where people don't know which move to make or, or how to handle a situation, the best thing you can do is have someone. But you're going to go to Barack instead of go to Dr. Claude Anderson or, or, or Dr. Boyce Watkins or Farrakhan. You're going to go to Barack. The African don't give a damn about black people. But you gonna go to them, but your brothers are getting slain left and right. Just, 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 as Charles Barkley would say it, terrible, just terrible. Just terrible. I know he be capping too. All y'all niggas be capping, man. And it's sad. It's sad, man. Either y'all don't know how to do it, or you're just scared to do it. Stand up. Kyrie, Kyrie, see, he poked his chest out. He did a hundred push-ups, nigga. Chest swole. He said, fuck, I, why, why are we playing anyway? Anyway, I'm going to leave a link in the description box. Like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. You'll be notified. Peace in the bottle. Happy peace, people.